I know I promised you a sketchbook flip through of my November project, which was all of my gouache landscape and skyscape studies, so sorry for the delay on that, but I finally have some decent light to film by, so let's take a look at my sketchbook. I used my just regular moleskin journal, so this has some thick paper, but there is some slight buckling from the wetness of just painting. So this did work out pretty well for gouache studies and I don't necessarily mind the crinkling of the pages and the warping. That's just natural in a lot of sketchbooks. Um, the first scene that I did was sort of fall inspired since I started this sketchbook project in early November. So I really focused on doing at least a larger um, painting and then a couple of thumbnails. So. I really like how these turned out, especially this sort of um, watercolor effect from using a little bit more water with the gouache paint. So these ones were based on some pictures that I'd taken outside of our apartment, so this is sort of looking into another parking lot with um, different like uh, sunrises and sunsets that I've seen outside where we live. A little attempt at a seascape. Um, I wasn't really happy. I started with this side over here and I wasn't really happy with the colors or the way things were turning out, but these two thumbnails, um, I do like the color combinations a little bit duskier. This was an attempt at another sort of stormy sea. Didn't exactly turn out how I intended it, but I do kind of like the textural effects that it has. I noticed that my sketches were getting a little bit messy, so sort of all over the place and the paint was dripping a little bit. So I started using some tape to clean up my edges. This is a little bit more texture than I would prefer. I think it ends up looking a little bit more abstract than actually like a landscape, but I do like the color combos here. These are the two that I started in Grand Rapids, so around the 10th or 11th. I do really like this one. I like the texture, the really the sort of limited strokes that I was able to use in sort of the mountain area. That's really what I was trying to achieve and I think this is one of the best ones where I did achieve that look. These two were also based off of the trip in Grand Rapids. There was sort of this very bright um, sunrise on Sunday when we were there, and so I took the time to sort of record that a little bit, just with less of an obvious cityscape here. So instead, I just focused on how the trees looked in the background of the city. another bright orange landscape. This is the um, first blue and gold landscape that I did and so now I've completed some larger scale paintings that are based off of this set. You guys saw this one in one of my previous videos where I did a time lapse of my process for these gouache sketches. So again, this is just um, based off of a photo from our trip to Grand Rapids. Here's another little barn scene, still based on those photos that I was taking from our vacation. This one features a much brighter sky and has a little bit less of the landscape and foreground featured. This spread I wasn't happy with. I ended up having some issues you can see here with putting in the stars. I wasn't exactly happy with the colors that I chose here and I just sort of ended up quickly finishing this one off. I think I had a bit more success with a night sky with this one and I was really um, honing in on the texture that I like to use to build up the sky and then also the landscape as well. You can see a lot of just like textured strokes that are built up in different shades that are pretty similar.
couple more night skies. Um, I tried a really thin strip landscape here for the first time and I ended up doing that a few more times. It's kind of fun just to do a super quick study of the landscape and the colors that you're using. This was um, one night uh, my partner and I were sitting down and so he made this little like swoopy abstract landscape and I just sort of played around with some colors and um, we were just having fun experimenting with the paints. Some more blue focus landscapes with the addition of pink as well, looking at those narrow long landscape thumbnail studies. If you saw this one on my Instagram, it's based on a photo from another Instagram user who's a photographer there, so definitely go check out his profile. Um, so this photo is inspired by, or this sketch is inspired by one of his photos. So a really like foggy sort of mountainside with a bunch of trees on it. This was just a saw study of um, using just a couple colors from my palette. This um, a particular blue and then a green from the um, introductory set. So just playing around with a couple of them that were left on my palette here. And the last one that I did in my sketchbook for November is this dark scene. Um, a two-page spread and I really wanted to do another like dark sky with really aggressive clouds and maybe a little bit less of a contrast in the color of the landscape area. I really liked how this one came out too so I did a couple of outside pieces that are based off of this one as well. I really like the the texture of this one and the color combination between the sky and then the land as well. It's a little bit less contrasty. So that was it for my November gouache studies. Thanks so much for taking a look at these. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on which sketches were your favorite. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.